Okay, I will start for you. Okay. All right. Okay. My name is Alabi Olushola. So I base in Lagos. And what I do most is research. And basically on different ways of generating electricity. So that's what I base my research on. So I thank God uh, this year I've come out with some of the way that we can generate electricity. So one of it is through potato and some other things like waste and the rest. All right. As a researcher, can you please take us through your educational background? Okay. I have a, I'm a science student in secondary school. So after secondary school, I went to Polytechnic. But due to financial uh, short term, so I couldn't be able to finish there. But I have a science uh, background. I have little knowledge in science then. So that's where I started my research then. All right. What led you into the research of uh, electricity and other stuff? Uh, what, what motivated me to start my research on electricity is due to the lack of power supply. Because like in my area, we don't used to have light at all. So most of the time, like let's say for good eight months, so we don't have light. So that's why I started my research because I know Everything in this world has a solution, so that's where I started my research then. So how long have you been doing this? And now it's over six years now that I've been doing research on different things, ways of generating electricity. So, and I can boldly say there are a lot of ways, apart from the one we used to, the hydroelectric power that we can generate electricity, even for a, as large as a whole country. So I'm very much sure of that. What are the, what are the challenges you faced for coming up with this idea? And there are a lot of challenges, like less in time of finance. And two, you know, uh, in this country, for you, if you want to do any research, lack of uh, materials. So it's one of the setbacks that used to happen so and why when i choose a uh, crops so i've done a lot of research on different crops so and i found out that potato is more durable than some of those crops in time of uh, generating electricity this uh, this electric can also generate electricity from a uh, banana but potato is more durable than Banana. That's why I base it on uh, potato. But already gives the assurance that it can generate electricity from crops. Yes, like I said in my knowledge in physics in secondary school. So there was a time we did an experiment on how to generate electricity from lemon. So we generate at least little uh, energy from lemon. So that's where I started my research. I was thinking that, oh, if truly this thing can generate electricity. So that's where I started my research then. So after that one, I get a multimeter. So I started on different crop, vegetable, trees, and some other things. So, and finally I found out that we can truly generate enough energy from potato. So that's what gives me the assurance. Okay, so a layman on the street, first seeing you with uh, uh, potato and all that. Yes. And the first thing will be like, is this man crazy? Like, exactly. So how would you describe this concept okay. to a layman on the street? Like uh, you have said now, when I first started then, Somebody that saw it then was thinking, like, is this guy crazy or something like that? What are you talking about? It's like you are looking for something that does not exist, you know? 
but when you keep on there is no harm in trying so but I can take you to some little process of how it works so the very first thing is this is potato Was this idea giving birth, like, is it your passion or for the money you will get from it? Is it like you derive joy from it? Inspired by someone. What actually inspired you? Is it the passion of yes. progress of the society or you just want to make money out of it? Uh, like I've said, what motivate, what uh, really motivate me to start then is due to the lack of electricity. So that's the number one thing. And when we are talking about it, it's not something that only one person can be using. So it's, it will be a benefit for most of us in Nigeria. Even in rural area, in most parts of Africa. So that's the very first thing. So, and it's not, the, it's not that I, uh, money is the thing on my mind to conduct the research. So, but what I have in mind is, at least let's do something that can benefit our people. I believe with this idea, there are a lot of uh, youths in town. If we can embrace this idea, I'm telling you, we need a lot of youths to be employed, to be gainfully employed. So if it is welcome, so that's what I think. It will help a lot of you because I really have in mind, a lot of people have been calling me, not even in Nigeria, from international, from America, from Canada, that they really want to, most of them have tried it to some extent. They do send it to me on my WhatsApp. So, but I have it in mind until it is welcomed. That's when I can be able to train a lot of people. But I really have it in mind to do that. In a few words, what's your vision for this project? Uh, my vision is to see is either government or somebody that can finance it so that it can be a can be a benefit for every Nigeria, most especially where they don't used to have electricity. At least with this one, as little as this one is now, you can be able to read in the night, and this one lasts as long as 40 days. So but I'm trying to work on it to improve it. So that's what is really in my mind now. So what, what are your plans to work since you say you are trying to work on it, like what are your plans to expand this project? Yes, this one now we only light a bulb and it's oh. just for a room. Oh. So, but the one that we, if you need a one that can power, let's say like three bedroom flats with some electronics, as it is now because it is raw like this. But I've designed a way of upgrading it that is different from this one. Maybe very soon I will come out with that. So that will not look like this again. So that one is the one I'm currently working on. But if you want to power, let's say, as it is now, your whole house, you will need something like this, like 250 of this one, of each of this. So to be able to power your whole house, which is something is not going to be easy like that. So we have designed another way of doing it Two, to be preserving this, as you look at this one now, it's close to more than a month now. So in a, in a week's time, it will get spoiled. So I will have to renew it again. And it's not only electricity we can generate from potato. There are many other things. It can also power our vehicle. So when I said that, a lot of people went online to Google how it really works. But I have every document with me. So most of it, you may not be able to find it online. You will find the related article, but the exact one, you may not be able to find it. So, and I'm ready. If anybody really ready, I can tender it to anybody. So that's the level now. How do you now. Tend to commercialize the project? Like for the use of these masses? What, what is trying to say? Is it like you are doing it for just a certain percentage or you want to or for the whole make it general, for the general public? Yes. How do you send doing that? Since you are saying this one, it's just to light a bulb. 
how will you make it for the person? If this is a gondola, yeah, for when the you, general. When you look at something like this, yeah, yeah. on the back. Yes. Or your so why do you tend to do that? Uh, there are a lot of ways of doing it. I, like I've said that I've designed it and I've written it down. So this is just a let me uh, is it prototype or to show people that this thing is really working. So the one that will be able to power a whole city, a whole, one you will need some other expert in time of you know you are uh, you are dealing with electricity. So by the time it is upgraded, a lot of people ask me, can this thing shock? No, it cannot shock. But by the time it is upgraded, it will be shock. And you will need experts to handle electricity. So we will need a lot of people, experts, so to come around and at the same time finance to do it that. So a lot of people ask me that I should come and I should start with the whole street first. So where is the money to do that? So that's why we need big people or governments so to come in. So, so what do you work with? Like, do you work alone or do you work with some certain people to help you? Uh, I work alone, so I don't work with anybody now. So, so I do my research alone and I'm alone. So do you, what are the people you tend working with? Like the like, uh, I said now that we need some experts. Like? Like engineers. So those that understand electricity that understand electronics a lot because when i got some mail from china when they saw this thing so the very first question they asked me is what is my knowledge in electronics electrical electronics i said i have if i rate it let's say 10 out of 100 so you see it's very very low so in time of Electri electrical. So we need experts. So I've designed a lot of things. So how it works, I can't tell anybody. So that's we really need to work with some experts to uh, upgrade it. You earlier said that this particular will expire soon. Yes, yes. Does it mean that I will have to be changing it if I buy this one? Yes. So we have to. Uh, that's why I said uh, it's need to be upgraded. So but how many months can this one last? A month, uh, a month plus. Let's say forty days. So, okay, so, in one word, so after in that, it will spoil. This one now is so far a month now. You can see the fresh one. So you compare with this one now. So it's, so. Have you tried the amount of voltage you can get from one? Uh, that's why I bring the meter so that everybody can see the amount of voltage we can generate from only this one. So. All right. To sum it up, can you just tell us everything? Just briefly tell us everything about this project. Talk to the people, talk to the government, talk to the engineers, talk to experts, and so on. Okay, um, what I want to say about this project is um, it's a very big project and only one person can all handle this, uh, what we are talking about. I think it's a huge uh, and a big opportunity for us to discover this and to see it works here. A lot of people from America, they, uh, like I've said earlier, they said, oh, how we wish if this happen in our country by now so we uh, a lot of experts will have come up so to rally around so this is how a lot of things was invented so really need government or big organization so to come into this so that uh, it can progress so let's as well, if we say okay only me to be doing this I will only do it for my house and for people that are closer to me so and that does not benefit a lot of people and apart from that a lot of youths like i've said will be employed if you want to start this thing now we want to do it in a large scale we need a large farm large uh, land for farming 
You know, some people will be working there. Apart from that, we need the work of some experts, like I've said. So they really understand a lot about uh, electricity. So uh, I really wish the government or anybody that have the love of the country in mind so that we can move ahead. So and many people have been asking me, can this thing, oh, you said this thing, can this one power a whole country? I said, definitely, it will work. There are a lot of technology that will be involved. So the idea is still very raw now. So since we know that we can generate energy, electricity from this thing now, so we can upgrade it. There is room for improvement. So that's one another aspect of it is the one I've said that if you can if you go online now, just go and check about fuel. So we can generate fuel from potato. A lot of people said oh that's very new. So and if they ask me to come and defend it I will definitely I will do that. So we can generate fuel from it to power our vehicle. And it's 10 times safer than the fuel we are using now. And the world is coming to that. In the next, let's say, in the next 10 years now. So the world is coming to bow fuel. So that's where we need the help of government or big organization to come in. So do you think this dispensation, like this administration, current administration, will welcome these projects? How do you see these projects in the face of Nigeria? Nigeria as a country, and this present administration? Well, uh, this present administration, I don't know how they see it, but from the way I look at it, when uh, this thing was first here around the, uh, June this year, so a lot of people from different, at least from, let's say, around 20 countries all over the world, they call me. The very first question it, they ask me is, what is the government doing about it? I says, I didn't see anybody and they asked me, has anybody in government called you? I said, no. They said, for us to see it in America, in UK, in Germany, we believe that the government of Nigeria must have seen this. I said, I said they asked me to, whether I've sent it to some of them. I said, yes, I did. So the only reply I get from one of them is, Oh, this is a wonderful idea. Thanks. He reply me. So that's all. So that's the stage now. Can we see that? Can you show us the practical? Okay. All right. So this is we can use three type of uh, potato for this uh, experiment. This one is sweet potato. This is sweet potato, so we can also use uh, Irish potato for this experiment. So, but it's not as big as the potato is, so but the amount of energy that we can generate from each. This one now, we have to boil it for some specific minutes, so to be able to get more energy. So this one is raw now. It doesn't mean that this one don't have energy. It has energy, but the boil one. So we have more power than this one. So after the boiling, so you have to cut it. It has a way of, you need copper. It has a way of arranging the wire inside. So why most of people don't get it? A lot of people have been trying it to do it. They send it to me on WhatsApp in my email. So I just laugh, but it has a way of arranging the wire inside this potato to be able to get enough energy. So, but we just demonstrate little so to you so that you can see. So the very first thing is, this is copper electric, and this one is zinc. So now, how do we know the positive and negative inside this potato? Now, so I will show you now. So I want to show you how 
I know the positive and the negative. So now, which one is positive, which one is negative? So, let me show you. So, we want to know the positive and the negative. See what we have here. If it is wrong, this meter will be in negative. So you see it's reading minus. So but if my connection is right, actually I know the positive and I know the negative, but for you to just understand that's why I, so. So you see, you see now it's reading. So now let me put it in the wrong way so that you will see the positive and the. So it's reading negative. So, but if I really want to do it, I will cut it into three. So this copper will be inside, not outside like this. So, like this one now. see the one that is open okay so this one is wrong so So if your connection is right, the meter will show you that this thing is right. And if it is wrong, you will know from the meter. So this one is reading negative. Because this is negative, this is positive. So, so that's where I started the research the first thing is to identify the positive and the negative so that is the very first thing so when you are able to identify the positive so you can stay so another thing is how to arrange the wire so that's what really give me a lot of problem so and i asked from somebody that with the electrical electronics so it told me about series connection and parallel connection so when you understand that you'll be able to know how to arrange the wire because if the connection is not right you can never get the light at all so those are the stage so that's why before it was not like this so i try to upgrade it so that it will be more portable to carry so that's the current stage now. So, uh, this is it. This is LED, so it's consumed. Uh, they are not too much for it at all. 
So as it is now, it will make it to be bright in the night. Let's assume this place is dark now. So you will see but the this brightness. This fresh one cannot power it now. This fresh one? Mm -hmm. Only this one cannot power it. Mm -hmm. Yes. The light bulb. He said? The light bulb. Only this. this. Bulb, like how many? Is it this type or the usual bulb? How many potatoes do you need? The light. The light bulb. Uh, Let's see this type. That one uh, is the one I'm working on now. Because this one now, if you have 10 of this one, it's as bright as the one you are talking about. Even four to five of this one is as bright as the energy saving bulb. So that's the brightness. And you know, in, around the world now, so people are not using all those energy consuming bulb again. So they are trying to reduce the power consumption. So that's why I use this. And it's very bright in the night. So, but when we are through with the upgrading, so it will be able to power some of the electronics in the house, like TV, home theater, and the rest. So, that's it.